guys, I'm Raquel Stetcher from the blog Out of the Past, and I'm here with a gigantic book haul, and I mean gigantic. This is a humongous stack of books. Let me try to lift them up for you. Oh, wow, it's a lot of books. So as you know, with the pandemic, a lot of film festivals um, had to cancel, so I couldn't go to the TCM Classic Film Festival this year, as I was hoping to in April. Um, and one of the things I do when I'm out there in Hollywood is I stop by Larry Edmonds Bookshop to pick up a few titles or I'll attend one or two of um, their book signings that happen during the festival. Um, so usually I come home with a good three or four books at a time and I have to be careful because, you know, I don't want to add too much to my luggage and then go over 50 pounds and then have to pay a fee. So I try to just buy a few titles and be really picky but I always go to Larry Edmonds bookshop in Hollywood and I always make sure I support them with my purchases and it benefits me too because I always get some really great stuff there um, so this year I couldn't go and um, the film festival brings them a lot of business and this was a huge hit to them financially and also having to shut down too because of the um, pandemic so um, I really wanted to support them with um, with some purchases, so I bought a ton of books. Most of these are books for research. A few of them are for fun and for review. You can call them on the phone. The owner, Jeff Mantor, is super nice. Um, I worked with him on, uh, basically this essentially um, equals up to three different book purchases. I just kept like sending him titles that I was super interested in. Um, you can also email him. Um, or you can contact him through Instagram. He has an Instagram just for the bookshop, but then he has another one called The Library, And it's an Instagram that shows like his collection of like books on a theme of what he has. So it's a great way because he doesn't have an online shop to kind of see what inventory he has. So I have this awesome, awesome collection of books to show you. Okay, so on to the books, and I'm going to divide these into four categories. The first um, are books for fun, the second is books on film studios, the third um, is uh, books that were signed by the author, and then the fourth one are is um, for my diversity research. So the first book is Citizen Canine, Dogs in the Movies by Wendy Mitchell. It's a really cute, compact book about um, the history of dogs in film, and each dog gets his own spread. There's Toto, there's Lassie, and there's just like some basic information. So this is just kind of a fun book, especially if you love dogs like I do. The second came highly recommended to me by so many people. Um, and it's this one right here, which is the lady from the Black Lagoon. Um, I don't know why I say lagoon, lagoon. Um, Hollywood Monsters and the Lost Legacy of Millicent Patrick by Mallory O'Meara. Um, so, and look at this cover. This is amazing. So this is, uh, Millicent Patrick is the woman who designed the creature from the Black Lagoon. Um, and you see, there's like a, there's a really great illustration on the cover. You see her with a, with a sketch pad and then you see the arm of the creature coming out of the sketch pad. I think that's just a crazy, awesome design. And um, I love, love, love books that go really deep into the, um, into the history of a film, but also the specifically about the players you don't necessarily think of, like the screenwriters, the producers, and in this case, the designer of the actual monster from the film. So, um, and I, I just, I have heard so many great things, so I'm very excited about this. And the next book I've had my eye on forever, and I'm so glad I have my hands on it now, is The Battle for Beverly Hills, A City's Independence and the Birth of Celebrity Politics by Nancy Clare. And this is just the history of Beverly Hills um, and how the classic film stars who live there, and you see, um, and you see Mary Pickford and Douglas Fairbanks there, and they're very important figures in the story as well. Um, and how they kind of formed the city and how it um, it almost was annexed into Los Angeles but they fought to keep it its own separate city. I think that's really interesting and there's also some um, some not so great stuff about the history of the town so um, I'm really excited to read this one. 
And this, this next book is like the center of my Venn diagram. You take books, you take movies, and what do you get? The Hollywood Book Club, um, Reading with the Stars by Stephen Rhea. And this I've had my eye on, and I don't know if I'll review it. I think I'll just, maybe I will review it. But it has like, a, kind of like the, um, the Citizen Canine book. It has just one spread, and it has... Um, um, per subject. It tells you like that was, you know, Sammy Davis Jr. tells you what he's reading and if the book is relevant to a, um, if they're like doing research on a film um, or if it's at all relevant to their lives or careers. So, and it's all in black and white. So no color photos. And then the next book for fun, this was actually not something I requested. They just added it in. And I feel so grateful for them just to add in an extra book for me. It's really nice. Um, this is Box Office Champs, the most popular movies of the last 50 years. And this was published um, in 1990. So it'll be from like 1939, 1940 and on. Um, and it's a humongous, humongous coffee table book. Look, it's like, can't even fit it on the screen. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, it's going to, obviously it's going to be outdated because it was published so long ago, but I don't mind because it's going to have a lot of classics that I'll be interested in reading more about. So the next um, set of books are ones on film studios. And I got these two books that are paired together. The first one is RK... RKO Radio Pictures, A Titan is Born by Richard B. Jewell. And then the follow-up, the second volume, is Slow Fade to Black, The Decline of RKO Radio Pictures, but also by Richard B. Jewell. So um, this is, you know, the birth of the studio, and then when Howard Hughes comes in <laughs> and runs it to the ground. <laughs> I've already used this one for research. Um, Jeff from Larry Edmonds ordered both of these for me and I'm really grateful because I've had my eye on these. I love RKO movies. Uh, they tend to be some of my favorites. Bachelor Mother from 1939 is my favorite movie of all time and it's an RKO film so it's just you know I needed to really learn more about the history of the of this studio so it made sense to get these so that was great. And one I've had my eye on for a very long time, and I have not had a chance to dive into this one yet, but I'm so excited to, is this hefty one right here. So 20th Century Fox, A Century of Entertainment by Michael Troyan, who I follow on Twitter and follows me back. It's really exciting. He's um, an expert on the history of 20th Century Fox, and it's this, It's it's been kind of hard to get. Um, it released a few years ago um, and then it kind of went out of print. I might have reprinted and the book and it might be back in stock. It has a slightly new cover which I'm not thrilled with. Um, it's okay but it's really the content that I'm after and I'm super excited for this mm. one. Um, it has a lot more pictures than I thought it would and that's not easy to get access to so many of these photos because that costs money and that in itself is a lot of work so um super excited for this one and not as big but also about a studio and kind of similarly designed is this one paramount city of dreams by stephen bingen um and this is about this is specifically about the history of the lot um and the different stages so um also lots of Lots of information, lots of great photos in it. And this one's paperback, so it's a lot more floppy. And when I got this one, my husband grabbed it right away. He was like, I have to look through this. Because he has a similar book on um, Warner Brothers. So um, I'm probably going to have to <laughs> search for this one because it'll go missing quite often. Okay, next up are autograph books. And the first one is this one right here, Backwards and in Heels, The Present, Past, and Future of Women Working in Film by Alicia Malone. Um, I read her other book, The Female Gaze, which is a collection um, of um, short essays by herself, but also by other female film critics about 
um, films made by women. But this was her first book, and this I've had on my wish list for a very long time. Um, and she's very passionate about uh, a few things. She's pas She says she's passionate about um, classic movies, women in film, and indie films. And I really love that about her. She's, I mean, I, I've met her before. She's a sweetheart. She's super knowledgeable about film. And she's a great writer. So I was really impressed with the female gaze. So I'm definitely going to enjoy this one. And it's signed here. It's not signed to me. They just happen to have extra signed copies. And it says, here's to the wonderful woman, women that paved the way. Alicia Malone. That's really great. So there's that one. And then the next one is My Girls, A Lifetime with Carrie and Debbie by Todd Fisher. And I met Todd Fisher um, at a TCM Classic Film Festival um, a few years ago. It was a few months after both Debbie Reynolds and um, 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 Carrie Fisher had passed on and I was asking him about his documentary about them and then this book came out I think like a few months after that and I really wanted to get my hands on it and I missed the hardcover then it came out in paperback um, and then I still missed the paperback I was like I need to get my hands on it and, and um, Jeff happened to have a signed copy at the store Signed right there. Uh, the signature kind of looks like my husband's signature. He does that kind of like the swirlies. Um, and I'm excited to read this because I definitely want to learn more. Um, and I'll leave a link down below if you want to check out my interview with Todd Fisher that I did. It's on this channel. And then the next one is a book I've had my eye on for a very long time. Um, and it's I Thought We Were Making Movies Not History by Walter Mirisch. Uh, oh wow, I totally did not realize this has four words by Sidney Poitier and Elmore Leonard. What? Even better. So I love Walter Mirisch. I love, um, um, I mean, many of the films that he produced were, are some of my favorites, like In the Heat of the Night. I mean, no small picture. Um, so I really wanted to learn more about him. Also, I have seen him in person twice. Very exciting. And I called out to him like, Walter, Walter! And he looked over and he was confused, like, who was calling him. It was me, of course. <laughs> um, the one time I talked to him, I just screamed his name and he looked over. That's all I got. Anyway, so this is his um, memoir, autobiography, and this is actually, this was probably one of the priciest of the books um, that I got. I think the, um, the Fox book was the most expensive. This was the second most expensive because it is autographed by Walter Mirisch to Robert Boyle, the famous art director. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so that's kind of like a cool bit of history. I have a book that um, Robert Boyle owned and was hit and was signed by Walter Mirisch. So that's pretty cool. So this next one, I am so excited to have This Life by Sidney Poitier. This is um, his memoir. Was it published? I'm trying to think. 1980. That's the year I was born, actually. Um, he's since written a, a few more memoirs. He has the Letters to My Great Granddaughter, and he has The Measure of a Man. And I have to say, Sidney Poitier is one of the best writers I have ever read in the realm of, you know, celebrity, actor, actress, memoirs. Um, he's so philosophical. He's so thoughtful. Um, his writing is just exquisite. It really is. So I'm really excited about this. I mean, 1980, he's still making films, but his career is basically winding down. So you, so I, uh, I think there's going to be a lot of really great information about the films I'm the most interested in. And um, I'm just excited to read more um, by one of my favorite actors of all time. So excited about this. And this will come in um, handy with research because um, if ever I can get assigned to write a um, piece on one of him, one of his films, I will. So this could be helpful. And the next one I got for research too is this one right here. Hispanics in Hollywood, a celebration of 100 years in film and television by Luis Reyes and Peter Ruby. So this one is a reference guide and it basically has like 
the history, I mean, it has, like, I was warned, too, that it has some, some markings in it, some highlight. someone took a highlighter to it, which is totally fine with me, um, and it has, like, a history of, you know, um, Latinos in film, and then it goes, it has a, has a big section, which is alphabetical, and, and it, and it, um, it devotes like a, a few paragraphs to different films with either um, prominent Hispanic characters or themes. It has a lot of really great information. Then it breaks out into television. And then it has little mini biographies at the end. So this is actually like a really nice... Here's the biographies that came at the end. So this I think will have like some... This will be a good reference guide for some re research I'm doing um, in in the future. I really have been focusing, especially since the beginning of last year, on writing more articles on um, diversity in classic film, um, whether it's focusing particularly on actor, actress, or filmmaker, or um, a film that um, has, you know, um, a diverse cast, or has like, um, or it's focusing on, you know, Asian American, African American, Latinx, um, whatever it might be something I'm really focusing on and it this that's also the reason I got this next book which like blew me away once I took a look at it because it's absolutely amazing this one right here Hollywood Chinese the Chinese in American feature films by Arthur Dong and has this beautiful portrait of Key Luke on the cover um, and this is like an absolutely stunning coffee table book um, I've only briefly looked at it, but I'm hoping it has tons of informa information for my research, so super excited about that. And in the package too, I got lots of bookmarks. I collect these and use these all the time, so that was really great. And then Sean, who works there, left me a couple of flyers from events that were happening that, um, that happened right before the pan the, the everything got shut down because of the pandemic. Um, this one is for Noir City, and I think this had already started and was shut down kind of like either the halfway point or later. And then it has the the schedule in it. That was pretty cool. And then this one from the new Beverly Cinema, which I've never been to. Makes me sad to think of like <sighs> repertory screenings and festivals and everything we're missing out on these days. And please support Larry Edmonds. Go to their GoFundMe page. I left a link down below. Um, and go to their social media and check out what they have. Make sure you share with your friends. And let's help support that wonderful bookstore. And thank you to Jeff of Larry Edmonds who helped me so much in um, arranging these orders and getting these books out to me. Um, I'm so happy that I was able to give back by purchasing a bunch of really great books that I know um, I'll have a ton of fun reading. And thank you for watching. I hope you like this video. Have a great day. Bye.